to this video so straight after doing the unboxing I promise I will be doing a let's build of Bone Ripper and Tankwell I'm super excited to get this guy built I'm wanting to get it done as quickly as I can this has been in a box for like a few days I'm just really excited to get him built up so I'm um, over the course of the video I will go over certain parts when I finish it and then we'll have a, at the end of it we'll have a final look at what the model looks like uh, get a look at the size and everything and what it was like to put together so let's flip the tabletop view and see what it's like so first up according to the instructions we will have to make uh, the right leg clip the body off get the tail sorted so basically we'll pretty much have mm, two thirds of the bottom finished left the tail the leg the bottom of the torso I think or the upper leg part whatever that's called and the little chain mail part going around um, and then after that it will be the right leg so I'm pretty much going to work up until that to that finish point there where we have the legs all ready to go there's no options for that it's pretty straightforward but there is so much stuff on the sprue and that's just one that uh, it's going to take a little while to find it and clip it and clean it but uh, let's get started and I'll see you guys in a few seconds okay so I got the bottom part finished I have the legs made the bottom part of the body the tail goes on uh, it went on okay there was a few little bits that where you might have to hold um, it's not hard to put together if you follow the instructions and everything it's just weirdly built it's not like a basic model you know but um, other than that it's fine really great detail I don't know god only knows how the hell they like sculpt this or design this with all these mechanical parts for the legs because that's like one two three four five if you include that part that's like five separate pieces um, but yeah so what I have to do next is uh, let's have a look at the book the next part is by the looks of it is all the body by this step here it should be near enough finished and then it's just building the back part and adding that on then it's just adding the weapons on so I probably build up until I have the back part build and I will come back before I glue it on and we'll have a look then so I'll see you guys in a few seconds so the big guy is finally starting to take proper shape um, got the top part of the body all made and finished and then the back of it um, is all put together as well the back of him the back of him is like full of so much detail and um, all these little kind of cogs these little wheel things here or the little handles whatever they are they're all like individuals that like cut them they're so small I had to cut them out and glue them in. That was fine. Um, I'm just super happy that he's really starting to take shape now. I can really see what he's going to look like. So next thing, I have Tankwell, which I won't be gluing him on because it's just going to be insanely hard to paint. And then next is after well after that, it's just the warp fire projector weapons. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make Tankwell, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show him. And then I will make all the hand weapons for him. Because I really don't know which ones I'm going to be gluing on yet. Um, and then the last thing is the head. I'm not sure which head yet, I think I might know. So I'll come back to that as well. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys will see Tankwell in a couple of seconds. Alright, so he's finally made. Let me just move him a little bit into center frame here. The big guy is finally made. I hope the lighting is okay. Maybe if I put it there, it might be a bit better. Um, I, just, I had to do this over a few days, so I had to kind of take my time with it. There is so much of this guy to put together, um, but he's incredible looking. Um, I went with, on the box to show you um, a head with it was the chainmail head with without the mask on it with these weapons I went with the uh, what are these called the warp fires I think let me have a quick look on the box 
Um, yeah, so look, as you can see on the box, he has these weapons with that helmet. So, you know, I, I really like that helmet, but I didn't like them weapons, so I kind of just mixed and matched it a little bit. The back of him is kind of fun to put together. There is so many little parts on this. The only thing I haven't glued on, apart from Tankwell, is there's two big tubes to go across the back. There's no point in gluing them on now because they'll just get in the way. So they'll go on last after he's finished. After he's painted up and everything. But uh, yeah, he's an absolute beast. Now the model itself is a small bit, it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. But now that he's made and I'm looking at him, I love him. I absolutely love him. I think he's fantastic. Um, he's not, so, you forget like he is a rat ogre. He's just a bigger rat ogre. So he's not going to be like gigantic. But yeah, he's really nice. I really like this model. Uh, he's great. I love him. He's fantastic. But to be honest with you, the real star of the show is Tankwell. Let me zoom in a bit on him so you can get a decent look at him. He is one of the nicest Skaven models I have ever seen. He has Warpstone helmet or Warpstone uh, horns. Look at this. Look what I have to put up with when I'm videoing here. Let me see what's next to me. Dog, what are you doing? Can you get down? Look at this rascal of a dog. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> um, get down off the desk. Look at him! Dog, I swear to God you're pushing it. Oh, Jesus Christ. If it's not my son Martin, it's the dog. <laughs> uh, but back to Tankwell. Banjo, don't, no more interruptions, Banjo. But back to Tankwell now. Banjo, I'll try and get him to focus and everything. You are a rascal. Let me see. Let me get him in here. There we go. This guy, uh, like this, if I can buy this guy by himself on eBay, which I am going to try and do. He is well worth it. He has the Warstone horns. Uh, he has kind of a, not a robe, but kind of a ripped up cloak. Uh, I love the way his poses. I love the, oh, the staff thing he has. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but he's just full of detail. I love his pose. His mouth is wide open like he's shouting. Uh, the only thing I really like for him, but... Only if he was a single model by himself. Kind of give him something that represents uh, magic. Like give him like a little bit of a, a cloudy or a smoky base. But for on top of Tankwell, he is perfect. Um, I haven't glued him on because, to be honest with you, there, like, there is no point yet. It's just be, it'll make that model ten times harder to paint. Uh, but that's what he's going to look like when he's on him. He doesn't really stay on as well. The model doesn't balance too much by himself when he's not glued. Uh, and I have a good reason why he's not glued. Uh, this is the base he came with. I can't remember the size of it, to be honest with you. But, uh, like, I'm wanting to use round bases. I like the base, square base with the big monsters are fine. But to keep up with Age of Sigmar, like, I really want to keep the round or the oval bases going. So I had this one. This is one that I got in a kit, uh, a base kit from GW in one of the hobby shops. I'm trying to keep it in the centre. But it's it's too small. Um, if you put them on it, it's not too bad. But he could do with a bigger one. Let me try and get this guy into the centre. I'm doing this backwards. There we go. Um, it's a bit too small. He could work. He could get away with it. But so what I did instead of like trying to buy one base off eBay, which was fine. But for one base, it was like six euro and then six euro delivery. So I just printed off the size of the base and I made one out of some wood I found in my art, in the art campus where I got to college. I just spent three days in the art campus every week and they have like a wood workshop. So I printed out the base, printed out the size, cut this out of wood. No, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close to being uh, the exact size. There's a few little wobbles, like just one little bit there. But that bigger base size, you know, it's going to be spread black as well, you know, so it'll look better. But that base is a lot better, it gives them a bit more freedom. You can add stuff onto the base if you want. Um, and what I was working on is some of the foam, uh, some of the foam board, if you peel back the card part, you can start cutting away at the foam like this, so you can get it look like a road or whatever. It's kind of like a stone, uh, a stone path. So maybe that might be going underneath them. 
I'm not too sure yet, but I'm happy I have a proper size base for him. Um, I think I mentioned it at the start. It's been a few days since I've been able to do this, so I didn't mention that you get a lot of rats. Um, let me see, let me see. A lot of rats here. That's a lovely picture there. Not even in frame. If you can focus, you get little these little tiny mice. Um, that and I mean you get a lot of these. There's at least ten or twelve of them, at least. So I'm going to be keeping all them. I'm not going to be putting them on the base, unfortunately. So I'm going to be keeping them to make a rat swarm out of it or giant rats, because uh, they're pretty hard to get and they're expensive, you know. But for now, he's going to be done. I will be getting around to painting him soon. Um, I'm wanting to. I have like my scaven blood ball team in the back there. I want to get the other two blood ball teams painted up. There's a lot of stuff I have to do here. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this less build. You know, it's not too. He's not too hard to make. Um, if you were like just starting into it, it could be a little bit tricky starting the hobby. But you know, just take your time. The instructions, like the pieces, are awkward sometimes. Some of them. And I'm trying to think what part was really hard. Uh, like there's a separate piece here that's like that size. It's really small. It's just like a little elbow piece. That was kind of a bit awkward to kind of find it fitting in properly. Everything else was kind of okay. Like the body was a little bit tricky at some parts because you had to like hold it until the glue dried for a few minutes. But other than that, it was fine. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this Let's Build, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you've built this guy before or anything similar, make sure to let me know what you think of the big guy. Big guy Bone Ripper. And tank well on top. I'm so looking forward to painting him up. I can't wait. He's really like flimsy because like these little cape bits are like bendy, and the staff is as well. So you have to be really careful. You don't want to bend this little chain part he's holding on to either. But I love him. He's great. I can't wait to get him out with the rest of my scaven army. He's going to be the best leader ever. <laughs> so uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next video.